You mentioned Judgment at Nuremberg as one of the movies of his that you like. Another fan and I tried to spot Victor in it, but we were unable to do so. Do you know when he's on screen in the movie? Victor Charles was directed by Stanley Kramer in Judgment at Nuremberg in 1961. He only had a non-speaking role as a courtroom spectator. By casting him in this classic film, he was able to rub shoulders with numerous motion picture stars like Spencer Tracy, Judy Garland, and Burt Lancaster. I saw this film many years ago, and unfortunately, I wasn't aware that Victor Charles was in it. If and when I do see it again, I'll be squinting and looking for my Uncle Victor's face. Also, Victor Charles's imagery in the movie may have found itself lying on the editing floor. That is probably what took place, because film editors are famous for cutting people out of various scenes. The studio most likely put him in judgment at Nuremberg so he could have a few dollars in his pocket. They do things like that for up-and-coming talents. In one of your videos about Victor, there was a photo of him fishing. I suppose he wears one of Myrtle Bell's knitted hats? Yes, most definitely. My grandma Mert used to spend a lot of time in her bedroom sitting and knitting hats and slippers with a Lucky Strike cigarette hanging from her mouth. I'll never forget her red lipstick on the cigarettes in the ashtray. She always wore red lipstick in the day and at night. Needless to say, she was a big smoker. I would come into her bedroom and sit on the edge of her bed and we would talk while she knitted. I think that was the most special time when visiting with her throughout the day. Grandma Mert was always a straight shooter, and she wasn't one to entertain sissies, and she always kept you up on your toes. Victor Charles had a habit of showing America his brand new knitted hats when appearing on The Tonight Johnny Carson Show. I wanted to add another question to the topic of Victor's romantic life, if that's okay, because as I've mentioned before, I've read so many different things. To briefly summarize what I found online, people either said he was a playboy when it came to the ladies or the men, but there was never any information about who he actually was with, even when considering the secrecy around homosexuality in the 60s. It seemed like he kept his romantic life either extremely private or there just wasn't much of a romantic life. Right from the start, let me say, I believe Victor Charles had a vigorous sexual life and it wasn't described as a romantic life, though. Yes, there would be secrecy for most gay men in the 1950s and going into the 1970s. For a Hollywood actor in those days, if they were caught being in a gay situation, their professional film career as an actor could be suddenly over. My father Sonny never talked poorly about his brother, Victor Charles, as possibly being a gay man, but I could tell you that it deeply bothered my father that he believed he was gay. There are no photos or film of evidence showing Victor Charles sexually touching and loving a man, and that is the truth for millions of other gay men too. It's usually done in secrecy. When I was growing up, I personally never heard or saw a woman or man kissing my Uncle Victor Charles. Whenever I was at a family event, I never heard anyone saying Victor Charles had a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Whenever being alone with my Uncle Victor Charles, he never discussed with me about sexuality, homosexuality, or if I was going out with girlfriends or boyfriends. 
Victor Charles was a polite man and courteous to others, and that is exactly why I believe he kept his sexual life quietly and secretively all to himself. I've often thought about how happy Victor would be today when gays aren't seen as the plague or by his delight of coming out into the open without having any fear of losing his profession as an actor. I believe my Uncle Victor Charles was gay and I loved him then and now and forever. Did he later on bring a boyfriend or partner with him when the family met? To my best knowledge in knowing what other family members recall, Victor Charles didn't ever bring an intimate boyfriend or girlfriend over to their family gatherings. His mother, Myrtle Bell, lived with him for his whole entire life and he never had a girlfriend to kiss. What I do know is that after my step-grandfather, Victor Francis, died in 1981, Victor Charles did have a live-in young man, Richard Martinez, staying with him at his Apple Valley Ranch. With both parents gone, he had less than one year until his own death. Was that young man his boyfriend, lover, or just a good friend? No one will ever know the truth now, and it will always be buried as a secret, just like how Victor Charles went through his life, having it to be a secret. I've talked to two writers who got an assignment from their publishers to write a book about Victor, one a couple of years ago and the other quite recently, but they both said these projects didn't happen at all since there are simply not enough people alive anymore to interview to do proper research. That is perfectly true, and even if there were friends, associates, and family members still alive who knew Victor Charles, they most likely wouldn't give any stories to them at all. As my Uncle Tony once said, Victor Charles was not one to have many close friends. I once reached out to get a conversation with actor Jonathan McMurtry to discuss his early years when they were friends at the Oak Globe Theatre. Unfortunately, he didn't respond back to me, but I understood that they may have had a lot of water under the bridge that wasn't worth talking about. McMurtry most likely didn't see any reason to unbury what went on once before between Victor Charles and him. I just let it go, because some things in life are often better to stay buried and not knowing at all. You already mentioned how you got the sad news. I wanted to ask you if you could elaborate more on the time around the day of Victor's death in the newspapers, they said Richard Martinez, a caretaker, had found Victor at 4 a.m., but I couldn't find anything else about him. As for Richard Martinez, his name had only surfaced because of Victor Charles' death. He had been living with him for a short time at his Apple Valley Ranch, and there is no information about who he was and where he eventually went after his death. Once again, for the men who Victor Charles associated with during his life, most of them left no clear descriptions of who they were or where they went. But Martinez is the only man known who lived with Victor Charles after his parents died. Victor's ashes were entombed in the crypt of his mother and many fans wondered why there wasn't at least an inscription with Victor's name added. Do you have any idea why his name isn't on the crypt? My thought is, my Uncle Victor Charles valued his privacy. He lived the way he wanted and wouldn't allow another person to trample upon his path. 
He gave his heart and brilliant mind to the theater, in books, on television programs, and in motion pictures. But when it was time for him to die, he didn't want to be bothered by people placing flowers on his grave because he would be elsewhere and not there. He lived with his mother for his entire life. Now they're together forever.